Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Supreme Ruler 2020 as Italy in the Blitzkrieg scenario. Last off was the uh, completely utter failure of the invasion of Venezuela. So the punishment would obviously not happen, but it's understandable since it's so far away. Uh, Venezuela is so far away and of course our navy being trapped. And of course, I still haven't figured out how exactly am I supposed to get these ships refueled and hit back home. I'm pretty sure it's... I kind of pretty sure it's one of my transports, but I don't know. I don't know which one exactly can refuel anything. So, I'm a bit stuck on that. But I guess I'll just send one of my transports and just hope it might work. But I still don't know. In the meantime, trying to get the economy up and get the social spendings up increase a tad bit so that we could uh, hopefully improve things a bit. At least hopefully. Meanwhile, the uh, US forces are still just sitting around. Not so sure if they're going to declare war. Same with Canada, which, looking at their military goods, has been restocked a bit, but it's nothing in comparison to ours. It's massive in comparison. But, once again, I will just have everything to full capacity just to be safe. Even though I could just lock them up, but I got the AI. It's sometimes best to just do let the AI kind of, let the kind of, <laughs> can't speak. Kinda let the AI do whatever he wants to do. There. <sighs> and I got the naval fabrications here finished. So I guess we could start building some ships. Already is a patrol ship and a frigate. And leave those alone. Carriers probably not. We'll need some destroyers though. I'll uh, probably go with this one, the D551 all days. Or the other chair, how do you say? But more fabrications are being built, slowly, and to constantly build up our navy. There we go. Uh, I'll leave that alone. This fabrication is also just built, being uh, starting construction. Here, here, and that's about it. Our other land fabrications are finished. So we can start building more arm more of our armies. Hopefully. Anyway, economy's improved, GDP is going up, population is growing, and the poverty rating has gone up as well. Also, I better not forget about the um, <clears throat> election that's gonna come up pretty soon. In the meantime, well, Still gotta keep building up our forces in North America just to be safe. So checking, we have a huge amount of production capacity for the army in question. Air Force is a slight different story. Still, we got some B-52s being built, and I got more armies here that I forgot to load up. Okay, this transport better go down here. You guys uh, load up onto the other transport. There we go, and just entrench. And now both of them will just head all the way to North America and drop them off. Drop off their uh, load. Speaking of which, where are the other transports? Well, other than the ones that were... Um, <laughs> <coughs> sunk. Okay, I have one here, so he... So that ship's gonna go back. Who else? And a lot of frigates, I will, I will admit. Too many. Other transports? Not a whole lot. I do have other transport types. But most are a little too far away, and some 
I have doubts they could even load up any more troops anyway. But with that, I'll just send them out anyway. And I guess that should be it for now. Well, then again. There we go. One of my carriers is returning home. And for the fail... Failure of anything. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anymore. I'm not gonna even say. Now, what else? Still got a lot of production going on. Still got... Alright, one of my tra damaged transports is returning home. Still gotta keep building an army over here though, just in case we try to go to we go to war with Canada again. Still, there's a good amount of resources, I guess. Here primarily agriculture. Water. Uh slightly mixed. Timber, a few. No oil other than here. Which I could build some oil derricks. More oil derricks. I mean coal primarily here. Metal ore. Uh seem interesting. Uranium is mostly deep within Canada's territory though. Power population, not gonna power fills. So Okay, fill those out and put composite ores there. And don't know about the and yeah, closing to the timber mills, but I guess why not? That's probably enough, so with that I'll just build a new railway. So I'll connect to here, but I gotta turn off the supply view because I cannot see anything. Where's the other railway? Here it is. And connect to that. Okay. Well, that's connected. I'm pretty sure some parts are already connected anyway, but just in case, I'll do this. And that should be enough. Despite the cost, at least our uh, well, at least our approval rating's gone up now, so that we don't have to deal with the loss of our election of our party. At least the independent party, which I which I don't quite understand why it's the independent party anyway. I mean, like I said, in the Shattered World sandbox, I understand because. Several, when it comes to several nations, you know, breaking away from a, a union. Well, by union is either the United States, Canada, or even Europe and Asia, certain large countries becoming fragmented. So, why are we called the Independent Party even though Italy was still kind of the same? Eh, that's something I don't understand. Oh well. Anyway. I am going to have to get these guys reserved. Not everyone, though. For now, since I'll let them reserve and have a few units be uh, redeployed. So, for example, these guys redeploy here. You tanks. i redeploy here, I guess. Just deploy them wherever they can. Same could be said for colonies, I guess you could say. Anyway, it's interesting to see uh, Australia, Australia getting most of the territory here. Us, mostly on this island, along with here. Though, there's practically nothing of use. So, I'm just going to leave, obviously, leave it alone, even if it gains supply lines. There's nothing else here. Where else? Um, just a few things. 
Uh, nothing much here as well. Where else is under our control? Ex with the exception of Australia. The United States has Colo Colonia. Nothing else other than near Africa. So I got a lot of these. And this unusual look of territory here. Now where is here it is? The uh all the stuff that's on these islands and the the risky building of a bridge that uh could be quite costly, especially if anything happens. Now as for oh let's say India a strange drive into China, but they're losing. They've lost a lot of territory to Pakistan and Bangladesh, of course. Myanmar is still alive, uh, still existing, and they too are having their elections in another 98 days. Vietnam, not yet. India, another 14 days. So their election is going to happen pretty soon. Bangladesh. 28 days. China... No. Mm, uh, yeah, no. South Korea. 98 days. North Korea, another alliance with Egypt. You know, it's kind of amazing how North Korea usually by now will be gone, but... It's not the case here. They're still alive. And they're not counterattacking even though they probably have a large army presence here. So... I don't get it, why they're not gonna gather the forces and reclaim these lands. Who knows. Japan. Your election is another 90 days. And yeah, still a pretty massive debt. Uh, wait, who has the massive debt? The United States, of course. We still have a <sighs> kind of a large depth anyway. Oh, let's see, 69 more days, huh? Our party is 32.1%, Socialist 27.8, Republican 29.6. All other parties, or whatever other party, uh, just 10%, just 10.5%. So that's good news to see back at home. Okay, first hell is here, some more infantry being built. Still keep building up our army. Uh, can only create Kodiaks here. I am going to keep building the Leopards. Over here. And a few other random different design tanks. And that's about it. What else am I building? Oh, right. Here. Let's see, a leopard, puma, and another leopard and two aria tattoos being uh, queued up. Alright, at least we got some extra power for somewhat for a while. But I could just fill that out. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave that one being filled up, but... These I'll ignore. Except for here, though. Fill that out. No matter how expensive it, it uh, could end up. Uranium? No, no, no. Uh, well, I forgot to build some railways here as well. Send them to here. Follow this road. Make to that and connect to here and then all the way down to this naval base. That should be enough. And yes, that was a bit expensive as our economy just dropped. Ooh, I got a large army here. Uh, 
maybe reserve there, I guess. Did those transports make it yet? Doesn't look like it. Yep, they're still trundling along the Atlantic. Slowly. Oh, so they did kind of got resupplied. Yeah, that's interesting to know. Oh yeah, I forgot to check uh, Turkey. Okay, Belarus hasn't made any more gains, not even Russia. Israel's fighting back. Kind of. Unless they're at war with... No, Lebanon has not declared war. Interesting. Oh, they're allies. Forgot about that. So that's nice to see, I guess. Although, being at war with Turkey is one thing, but Jordan and Iraq? That's a different story. But at least their economy is kind of strong at the moment. Spain has not gone to war with Turkey, if, of course. In fact, are they allies? Turkey, Turkey, where's Turkey? Yep, they're allies with Turkey. What's our relations? Satisfied, but have a high war justification. Turkey, oh dear. Yeah, that's not looking good. Belarus is somewhat okay with us, but I guess I could ask for trade. Really? What else do you want? Uh, that? Okay, that's good. What do you have? Naval catapult systems? We'll research that our own, so... There we go. Some trade with our other neighbors, so to speak. Russia, however, we will never trade because of our war, war uh, justification and all that. It's something I still don't understand why we have such a high infamy in the first place. At the beginning, at least. But right now, our subsidy rating is not good. Integrity is so-so. Well, I guess it wouldn't be surprised when it comes to our massive military production. Also, our DEFCON is still 4, and it's costing us a lot to maintain everything. Still, gotta check one thing. Uh, how's our reserve? Only 142,000 people. One F uh, soldiers, whatever. Personnel. Sorry. Uh, recommended $318 million. We're currently... Mm. I guess I'll increase it, but go a little bit over, or even, actually. Maintenance and training. Increase that a little bit, but not too much. So that should be okay-ish. Summary. Land auto build is active. Quality. Alright. Sub launch. Eh, I might as well just activate these as well. Still have a lot of missiles though. 9,642 with only 443 deployed. Our army is massive. Reserves of our air force is large. Navy is of course a different story. Alright. Uh, let's see. Yep. Global rules of engagement. Locks. Uh, hmm. Attack any enemy, approach, capture enemy lands. Unit, all units will accept auto deployed missiles. Speed, normal. Route, normal. Initiative, low, none. That's fine. Contact option, why avoid? Engage. Loss tolerance is medium. Uh, apply row. Current and future units, meaning we will have new unit designs, but we will also maintain our, our uh, 
<clears throat> old army, so to speak, since the beginning of this scenario. Fuji units only. Uh, I don't know about that. Recommend lowering the price again? Okay. Okay, the CPU is being built. Our right, supply depot here is finally, finally uh, finished. Still got a lot of stuff being built. <laughs> All these timber mills, agricultural farms, etc., etc. Still not going to be finished in time. Hopefully it will be enough. At least I hope so. Now, what else? We still have a lot of stuff being researched. Anything else we unlocked? Transportation, science, technology, society, uh, warfare, a few, and a lot of designs as well. Oh, uh, you know, I might as well just research some of the regular uh, vehicles and the foreign legion. Uh, interesting, but like I said, infantry, actual infantry units almost useless at least in my opinion tanks three new designs well three other designs I mean sorry and they're cheap to build like, somewhat cheap for a certain amount of time but gonna ignore that uh, the supply vehicle and those I'll ignore aircraft nope Multi-role fighters. Well, we got the FA-18 and the FA-1 Banshee. Don't know about that. Uh, fighter bombers. Not a whole lot. And that's about it. Other than some transports. Okay, so I'll ignore that. Okay, they're kind of refueled a bit, but not by much. Default strain personnel 200, weights, blah blah blah. Hmm. Not a whole lot of fuel, of course. Well, as long as this transport is with them, I guess... I don't know. Well, briefly. So, I'll have to return- have this transport return to base. Although, where is he going? Or should I just choose reserve? Much better option. Okay, these transports are finally here. Deployed more units and send them over to the fortress. Return back to Europe. Load onto that transport. If you, if you can. There. Load it up, and now this one. Yep, yeah, all loaded up, and they're just gonna sit here. And unload once they arrive. Okay, you guys actually reserve. Not each. Uh, I didn't mean each trench. Well, at least I got some more reinforcements. At the very least, hopefully. So, what else? 
Alright, how's our approval rate? Still going up. Treasury is constantly being shifted every time. And that's about it, I guess. Wait, what other designs could we have for our navy? Vittorio Veneto class? And all that? That we can already build anyway, but... Let's see. Uh, some carriers, corvettes, transports, and that's about it. Missiles. We have the ricochet, but we can eventually probably build some nuclear weapons. But... I am probably gonna only deploy, actually authorize the usage of nuclear weapons as a uh, last resort. Uh, because I'd rather not um, bother using it, using the uh, nukes or any nuclear weapons indiscriminately. Now, if I can re remember where exactly do I authorize the usage of nukes where no that's not uh view nope uh wait where is it i forgot for some reason launch authority oh right these i think i don't know well, we have a lot of missile design, other missiles that I'm gonna allow to be deployed, just to be safe. No matter what, we only have three land launch units compared to the air, naval, and even the sub. Countdown to election again. Huh? Our party is now 32.4 percent. Socialist 27.7. Republican 29.4. The other party is now 10.4, so that's a point, point one percent drop for them. Still, Socialist and Republican. Although the Republican is the closest in comparison to our party, but... <laughs> oh well. Now, of course, there's our religion uh, tab. Most of the time, we are Roman Catholic. Only 2% of the population is Jewish, 3% Protestant, 2.5% Sunni Muslims. And that's about it. Spain, 65% Roman Catholic. Most of the time, it's other religions. Right. Portugal, Roman Catholic, uh, the UK. Protestant, and only 10% other religions, along with Hindu? Other Christian, uh, Roman Catholic, hmm. Oh well. Protestants, Protestant, Protestant. Belarus? Majority of their religion is other Christian. Interesting. Russia, uh, it seems to be a mismatch. Mostly other Christians, but mostly other religions as well. Why am I looking at the religious tab? I just, I guess, I just, I guess I'm just curious of seeing what's religions. What? I guess I don't know. It's nothing much, but to be fair, I don't recall ever seeing an increase of certain tabs or certain things that seem obvious. Indigenous, that's understandable in most parts of Africa, I guess. But... I don't really see this one. Unless it's... Uh... No, it doesn't... No... Yeah... Yeah, um, I don't quite see any really. Yeah, I don't see anybody having this. I can't pronounce that, unfortunately, but I don't quite see that anywhere else. It at least that's what it seems like. I don't know. So that's kind of interesting, sort of. 
United Nations membership. We are a member with an annual fee of ninety-four billion dollars. Uh, standing is delighted. Subsidy rating forty-two percent. UN funds. Yeesh. That's quite a lot. Member regions eighty-five. Conflict support regional news, and that's kind of about it. Huh? TE one MBT tank. Well, it's kind of good news for Portugal, I guess. All oh, right, Nigeria. Um, uh, says territorial losses, but to who? Sudan? It's possible. Although they are... Okay, that's not looking good for Sudan with Egypt on their doorstep in the capital. Mauritania, Morocco, nothing much. South Africa has been, uh, somewhat of a disappointment. Mozambique's capture didn't happen, not even Nambia, and certainly not Rhodesia. So that's not good for them. In Asia, what's going on here? Uh, Japanese forces have still not landed anywhere else. The liberation, quote-unquote. Who is it this time? Oh, no, 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 not again. Ah, oh, no. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't. I just don't. Come on. Come on, America. Why? Why again do you want to go to war? And did Canada just... No, probably not. But really, why? And I don't have much of an air power <laughs> presence. Uh, can we make peace again? Yes, we can, but I am going to try to fight a little bit and to see what happens. Alright, this was Canadian land after all, so yeah, they're going to regain some... Canada's going to regain some lands, but not by much. We're doing some damage, but it's not going to help. <laughs> I really would like to have see if it was possible to build a bridge from this island to North America, but that's not going to happen. More reinforcements are going to be slow. Uh, this is not going to work out. Canada has regained some territory, unless we go to war with Canada immediately, but we're not going to bother. But we are doing damage, though. Somewhat. If these Air Force would just... If the U.S. Air Force just get... Stay away. So that hopefully we might wipe out some of their Storm Hunters, slowly. And here comes a counterattack. Retreat. I figured we we're gonna go to war again, but <sighs> this is not looking good. Wait, I have no garrisons here. I just realized that. Oh, can we please make peace immediately of this second very brief war? Please. And you pl oh, here's nuclear weapons permission. <laughs> it's right here all this time. Oh, please. I don't want to go to war. <laughs> in, fact, I'm, in fact, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure by this point, the people of Italy are getting a bit tired of war all the time. The people are outraged, I'm sure, but. Thank you. God. That was ridiculous. Already we lost so many units. And Canada managed to regain some land. That's just great. Uh, 
I guess that's always going to be the case. We're constantly going to get war decked by the United States every time. I wanted to hold on to this territory, but... Still. The UN approval is very disapproving right now. Integrity is 51%, subsidy rating is 68 so they're still a UN member. But if they do this again, they might get kicked. I don't know if that would be the case, but you never know. Ugh, go back to guarded. <sighs> this is just not gonna happen. There's no way we can build up an army fast enough. Unless I build a lot more, um... Land fabrications everywhere, and just build up an army large enough. But the only thing we can do now is just see... Is to, um... Try and send more reinforcements from Europe. And all the way to... North America, but... Yeah... Oh, God... I'm pretty sure they're gonna... Sorry, I hit the mic. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna prepare for another war. This is just ridiculous. So many storm hunters. So many. Can't be said for their... Ugh. Transport planes. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop right here. But... <sighs> oh god. I hope you enjoyed this, but I certainly did not after <laughs> America decides to just declare war again and seeing this much larger amount of storm hunters, I think the next war we're gonna get we're really gonna be screwed. Our leopards are not gonna be enough. We just don't have the military power in North America. I will still keep trying to send more reinforcements, but it's now going to be even slower thanks to my <sighs> failed, failed invasion of Venezuela. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, this is not looking good. But I hope you enjoyed this and see you in the next episode.